Now you're just in the war now. Yeah. Yeah, shit's crazy, I know. Yeah. Bill and Just. I'm Dave. How do you even get dribblers up in here? But I guess that makes sense. What was that? Uh, I said uh, we died. Wow! <laughs> Perfect placement. Yeah. For the time. Contract to kill number five terminated. Await further instruction. Obviously, oh, number yeah. five cleared things up with the commission. This is a very cool setup, though. Like, a very cool mm -hmm. world they're building out right here. Whenever someone chooses the wrong path and the timeline is changed, the commission gets a report from field agents on the ground. So all this shit just for me to get a job at a desk. I can't believe I was stupid enough to go back there. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have made you do it. No, it's my fault. I just wanted to Um, yeah, so her powers are coming fully out, whatever they are. What the hell is happening? You happen. Come on. So I wonder if the professor, like, or whatever, the guy, the dad, knew that she was super powerful, so, like, like, um, quake, you know, like, you could break yeah. the whole world apart. And that's what I was saying first, on the first episode. When he was studying them, and they were sleeping, he wrote something down about her. He thought it was interesting. Why? You're the one who's always like Klaus. You need to get sober, bro. There's better ways to get clean, bro. Not for me, no. And it looks like you're building on it here. Carl Weather. Now tell me, why unfortunate Carl? Carl Weather is the butcher at the shop of Captain Ernst and even acquires his weekly roast. So, Carl dies, his butcher shop is passed on to his son, Otto, who never washes his hands, which is disgusting. So he is the one who gives the captain his roast. And that gives him food poisoning. Which makes him late for work, which delays the takeoff. And to make up for lost time. The Hindenburg flies through a weather front of high electrical charge and humidity. And the static electricity inside the aircraft makes it a virtual tinderbox. Tiny engine sparks. And just like that, we yeah. <laughs> have... <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard that Mr. Five has proven to be as That's... adept with the pen as he was so with they, the sword. So they can't keep doing that for... Every event that happened, right? Because it only happens once. Well, I mean, hurt. it's indefinite if they How keep they revisiting time. I don't know. I guess, yeah. Well, Shanghai be on the moon for four years. I was never to get number one. That's what it was. I couldn't cut it. So he sent me away? No, no, that's not oh. it. Please leave me alone. Now, please, get out! If I see a boner, I'm out. The end of the world and you want to get sober all of a sudden. Hey, look at us. Logging in some quality bro time before the end of the world. Yeah, might as well. Everyone I like is already dead. Oh, yes. The lady cop. Yeah. But if you did do this, if it was you, that's beautiful. It's powerful. Look, if this was me, true, everything I know about myself would be different. Everything I've ever been told. Do you think that made your father live? <laughs> no way. Look, if I was special, I would have been in the Umbrella Academy. I'm so sorry. What if you're too special? Ordinary is not a word I'd use to describe you. But we'll figure it out. And why does he know about it? As a team. I know. 
Well, so maybe he just had a theory. I like weird. He's just smart enough yeah. to think. Well, what if you stop taking these medications? What happen? And that's how Phil determined that the Archduke just had to go. Care for dessert? Go in here. Crooks, no, no, I, I, I think, I think this was, whoa, 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 I think this whoa, whoa, was a good idea. No, 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 I just, I should have had just one last hit just to ease me into it. That's all I need. Mm -hmm. no, I'll be no, right no, back. No, 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 just, no, 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 no. no. That's not how no. it works. No, Diego, down. Diego, listen, good. just listen, just listen. Oh, oh, oh. Sit your ass down. Oh. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Dude, Diego. I can conjure her for you. Stop. Patch. Stop. I can conjure her. Don't use her name. Just, okay. just you let can't me conjure shit until you're clean. Please. And I won't see her until I can tell her that I buried the bastards I killed her. Diego, please come back, you prick! <laughs> March 21st. Sunset was 7.33 p.m. Moon was waxing crescent. Dinner was Cornish hen wild oh, rice. That and happened over a week ago. Do you remember anything else? I need to get to the airport and get on to Claire. Goodbye, Luther. Dude, say words. Luther, I can't. My plane. Allison, no worries. Are you done with me? Did I just tell you my plane is about to leave, boy? Dad was wrong for keeping you locked up all those years. I should have said something. Let's throw this stuff in the dryer. Is that H Unlimited, a cold roll, should remain a secret, keep her sedated. That's all about her. Ooh. Is that HR here or whatever? That's Harriet. That's, oh, dude, that's the dad. Just getting started. He's destroying the whole place. What does that mean?
apocalypse is in three days. The only chance we have to save our world is us. The Umbrella Academy. Yeah, but with me, obviously. <laughs> so if y'all don't get your sideshow acts together and get over yourselves, we're screwed. Who cares if that messed us up? Are we gonna let that define us? No. <laughs> Klaus! <laughs> See you next week. Come back with the lead. You know who's responsible for the apocalypse. This is who we have to stop. Harold Jenkins? Who the hell is Harold Jenkins? Nice. Okay. Okay, baby. All right, that was episode six of the Umbrella Academy. And, um, yeah, um, five is, this my guy. This my guy all day. Um, him and Klaus right now are my guys right now. So I'm glad at the end of this episode, five, number five came back and was like, um, let's get our shit together. We got the end of the world happening. Let's stop it with your side show shit because it, it was for six episodes now going on with the will they or won't they. Let's get the team together. Well, they go to wait until the last minute anyway to get it all together. But I did appreciate his episode going all the way through and then rewinding it all the way back. He did blow really up the fun. whole damn time academy over there. So I don't know how that is going to shape up in the future. Um, I don't think none of those people are probably dead over there because it's got to be a protocol or, or whatever. You just can't. It's too easy to take out the commission like that. So that would be interesting to see. And um, now we know that the other daughter um well she i think she was number two number seven maybe ellen page you know she does have ultimate power and it's probably like something that's way unstable and uncontrollable like the phoenix or some shit that she like just like quake in Agents of the shield she might be the bringer of doom to the world and so that's why she had to stay heavily sedated but now who the hell is jenkins ronald jenkins harold harold jenkins so we're gonna have to find out who this cat is, and uh, and it was like protect him because he yeah. like he is the catalyst for what's gonna get the word. Now it could be her boyfriend. We don't know his real name, but he could be pretending protect. But why would you protect him though? I have no clue. All right, but it's just getting very interesting and very very good. So um, to me, a little slow getting there. I know we had to get six episodes to get there for this whole character development thing, but. A little slow for me, but I think we finally get into that damn, it's about to get popping right now, and I'm here for all of that right there. So, love the episode. Can't wait to number seven. Yeah, so I like the world building of whatever we're calling the, the, the future mission people. I like that. I thought seeing their in, intricacies as far as their, where they, Mary J. Blige, where they operate at. Um, I like that it's set in the 50s, too. I thought that was just a unique twist. <laughs> um, but yeah, he did blow it up. But then also... They are like protecting time, time yeah. so they should so, be able. To, yeah, yeah, so, so it's like um, that was just one incarnation of us. So <laughs> time travel is always so interesting. Yeah. But I, I liked all of that. Um, I love the uh, the Vietnam callbacks with uh, Klaus. I love their that relationship. I thought that was just super sweet and endearing. It reminds me a lot of um, Doom Patrol and Larry and his like relationship too. So like I thought that was very sweet. Um, and then, finally, um, A and S, Allison and whatever his name is, um, having their moment and finally kissing and all of that was really good, um, and seeing them as kids was super cute too. Um, and then, yeah, Vanya with her powers, man. Like, okay, she officially has powers, uh, uh, the dad was trying to sed uh, sedate. sedate her and keep them... Um, keep them hidden um, because ultimately they're way too powerful and it's based on her emotion so if she gets too mad or too upset she can be uncontrollable yeah. and cause Armageddon yeah it's a hundred percent what's gonna happen yep. um, yeah but as far as who Harold Jenkins is I'm assuming the same thing that it's Leonard because he's the one that's activating basically so to speak Vanya yeah, and like being super nosy. and he's the one that's like manipulating her to do stuff, but still, like, who is this guy? Where did yeah. he come from? Did he just he's happen like to? Fucking... Because the book was in the trash too, mind you. Like, um, Klaus just threw that whole book and everything in the trash. So, like, has did he just stumble upon the book and then he was like super excited or like? Yeah. I don't know. He's like old boy from Civil War. Uh, 
that that wanted the Avengers to fight each other to them to end right, it all. Yeah. He's like him. He's just like, oh, I, I know this shit is popping. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting. If that's him. If that's him, let it be a nice curveball that we now we got to protect his crazy ass. And so I don't know. Well, now. they want to protect him because he's a catalyst of creating the Armageddon. But our squad would need to take him out. So right. That the Armageddon oh, that's true. Happen. Yeah, just to, yeah. Because they're trying to protect these keep major his ass events in the from somewhere. keep happening. So yeah, keep him in the bubble somewhere. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, great episode though. I'm very, I'm very excited about getting fully caught up and seeing the next episode. Yeah. Uh, so we can get to some fresh reactions. Thank you yeah. guys so much for supporting our idea about doing the rewatch in the way that we did. Yeah. Um, nice that allowed catch us, up. Yeah, that allowed us to get caught up much quicker, so I thought that was a great idea. Um, and going forward, we will have surprises because we mm -hmm. don't know what's happening from this mm -hmm. point forward. So, thank you guys as always. Appreciate the support. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for The Umbrella Academy, Season 1, Episode Number 6. And until next time, people, peace.